What's up, guys? Um, so yeah, I'm an idiot and I forgot my freaking camera, so I'm just gonna have to record this on my phone. Um, a couple of you guys have been asking me about how I made this mount, so um, I thought I'd just run through it real quick. I mean, I'm not gonna make another one right now, but I figured I'd just take this apart and show you how it's done. Okay, so I took this out. Um, and I'm just gonna run through the pieces with you and how I ran this. So uh, first off, I bought a sheet of uh, plexiglass. Um, I'll put a link in the description. But as you can see, I kind of cut made a form off of the vents on this bad boy here. And so you're gonna have one plate under here, and another plate at the top, and this should stabilize everything. Um, the reason why I put the bottom plate is I, I just don't want to damage the vents. Uh, that's quite simple. Um, so this piece here would just go under. Oh, sorry. It's gonna go under like so, right? And obviously this piece will go over. So I, the way I made it is, it's gonna be one plate on the bottom, and I made two. See if you if you look at it right there, right? I stacked two. I just I kind of like the height, and you know I just like I wanted to kind of want the top of the um, the mount to kind of clear the lip of the mask vent thing so um if you're wondering where i got this this i actually well i mean you could go you could probably find it just about anywhere but it's one of those cheap like seven dollar eight dollar um tripod mounts and what i did was i took see this screw here i unscrewed i took this screw off i kept it obviously and i just took the legs off and all i really need is this top portion so this is what i kept now if this is facing the front of my mask i made sure the notch is in the back um the reason for this is because well, quite frankly i after messing around with the camera angles, I noticed that the camera, if, if I aim higher than lower, that way it gave you better frame positioning. So, also when I run, I figured it's going to bounce like this. So it's a good way for this to catch. And it's just convenient because the knob is here too. So this knob, once you loosen it, will adjust this top portion. You screw in the camera, this is adjusting knob, which was perfect for me. So, so yeah. Um, if you're wondering what this black thing is, uh, what, it, what I did was I ordered neoprene it's a, like it's like a foam thing and it had a stick uh, like a backing like that sticks so it worked out for me I put one on top just I don't know why I did it just because and one on the bottom so I put it on all the surface that will touch the vent uh, again so it, you don't damage the vent in any way um, you know, so it's, it's, good, it's good padding you know there's less scraping there's less clinking around although you still will get some um, aside from that you have these screws that I felt when when I got in Home Depot. Just whatever will fit through the vents comfortably, right? You don't want to you don't want to shred, snap, or break the vents. Um, I, a little side note: the washers. I got regular washers that'll fit. You know, just as long as fit the screw. But uh, in hindsight, I would have want like to get. I think they're called locking washers. They're a little offset so that um, it applies pressure to to these nuts, um, so that it's less likely for it to screw off. When I first built this. The problem I was having was it was unscrewed by itself, which was extremely annoying. Um, so yeah, um, and there's so this fits over here, right? Oh, um, these two pieces here. You notice I put two pieces of the um, plexiglass. I did glue it with I think it was like Gorilla Glue. I mean, whatever epoxy like or permanent type glue that you could, you could use, Loctite or you know whatever. Um, this gives you extra height. Gives you a little. See, I screwed it through both pieces, and that gives you a little more um, durability, I suppose. Like the first one I made, I kind of offset it, but I made like a little stupid bridge-like thing. It just, it snapped. It was it was bad. So this is this is my version two. Okay, so uh, so yeah, the way it assembles for me is see how. Uh, so what I did was the plex glass. Obviously, I made. Three pieces, right? There's one here, this stacked on top of here, which I kind of shaved off a little bit for the screw holes, right? If you can see that. And this is the bottom plate. So I cut this. I used the grinder. I'll put a link in the description. Uh, I guess, I think that's what it's called. So I, I could put a jigsaw to cut a little bigger than what it was. I used the grinder to grind it down, smooth it out. You know, you don't want any, like, sharp edges to scrape away, whatnot. So once I got that, I made the neoprene. I guess, again, I trimmed the. I used that to trim around, and I stuck it on, and then trimmed off whatever pieces I didn't need. I put a little over the lip of the extra here, again, because since it's going in here, I just wanted to minimize the damage that I have to my mask. So, once I cut the three pieces, I stuck. I glued this piece on. While that cured, um, you know, I stuck the neoprene on at all the surfaces. From there, 
you know, I line, you know, you want to line it up on your mask, right? Find out first. Obviously, you want to make sure it's centered. Um, for me, centers with using the the lip here. It, it kind of matches the lip in there enough to kind of line up. And then, as you can see, the holes line up. So where you drill the hole should be more or less where the vent things will already be. That way, you know, you're not like bending your, these vent things out of the way and all that. So then, again, same thing with here. So when that goes under, like so, you'll eventually have a tight seal. All right. Now, obviously, these will go in the screw holes, right? One washer, one washer on each side. Again, get better, better washers because that will have better secure fit. So yeah, that goes in. So so. Now, some of you have been asking why I put it in the middle because it what does put an awkward profile. Uh, my reasoning is very simple. Um, I have seen a bunch of cameras where the you know cameras are on the off to the side and all that. That I'm sure you know anyone who actually pays attention to any one of these videos and watch it, watches them like I do. Um, you know how irritating that can be. So, because you know, um, for instance, you know, I'll use this as, as a terrible example. But if this is if this is the hallway, right, and my camera is here, right, if I'm snap shooting, this is what you're looking at. You're looking at a wall, right. But on the other hand, if I'm in the middle, right, then you can see exactly what I'm shooting at, right. It's it's a better it's a better camera angle in general. I know some people just like it off to the side because um, you know it's a small profile, and I know some people who put this on the side here and put a little linking gate thing here we're using plates and whatnot i just don't like it you know um if if you want one pre-made um i believe alabaster slim posted up a thing about that there is a site you could buy you know pre-made thing um i just you know for this for the price of this i figure i, I mean i made it myself and honestly i i mean i i don't know how much cheaper this is per, t in, per se but um you know it it does its job, and um, I just liked it to be both to my specifications personally, so this is how I liked it. Um, so yeah, if you guys have any other questions, comments, uh, you know, let me know. Uh, but yeah, other than that, I hope you liked this video, and I hope that you find it useful. Thanks.